but I don't have the strength. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to be strong in his might. In his might. This is the God that spoke and worlds came into existence. This is the God that spoke and there were land, seas, and animals. This is the God that took dirt and breathed into it and man became a living soul. That's his power and in his might. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time like sometimes remembering to put gas in my car. How many, be honest, be honest, how many of y'all rode around with the light on this week on the E longer than you should have? Do, do y'all, uh, are y'all like me? And you try to see as low as you can get it before you get gas? Do I have anybody? Those God's people right there that, that get it as low as they can. How many of y'all ever ran out of gas doing that? Anybody? <laughs> all right, now. Now, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, we've all done it. We've all been there. And you have to call somebody, and it's super embarrassing because you ran out of gas. And you passed 79 gas stations on the way. So, so okay. That's us. That's our mind. Uh, I'm laughing at my. Sometimes you gotta laugh at yourself. Sometimes you have to. Uh, I can like from from my way from the sink in the morning to the front door. I can forget more things than any of y'all can ever remember in the course of one day, in a seven second span. That's our might. We have limitations. We have things that hinder us. But the Bible does not tell us to be strong in our might. But it tells us to be strong in the Lord and in the power. That's dynamite is what I think of his might. If you can be strong in the Lord, if you can allow yourself, you can be strong in the Lord. You don't have to be strong in yourself. Verse 11 teaches us this. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to. I want you to look at this word with me in verse 11. That you may put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to what? Stand against the wild devil. Now this word wild here means methods or tricks. Can we agree that the devil is a tricky booger? I just called the devil a tricky booger up in church on Sunday morning. He, he never comes at his guns blazing, I am the devil. He doesn't operate that way. He's sly and he weaves his way in and out. And the Bible teaches us that he's going to, listen, it's not a matter of if the devil comes at you, it's a matter of when he's going to come at you. And the Bible teaches us that we can stand, listen, listen. Do y'all know that millennials wear boots now even though they don't know how to work? <laughs> Do y'all know that? All right, so they're trendy and they're fashionable. But so here's what we need to do. The Bible, y'all laugh because you know me. So, so, so here's the deal. The Bible tells us that we can put two feet in the middle of the battle and stand up against the most crafty foe that's ever existed. Stand. Sometimes in battle, the best offense is a good defense. Let your opponent keep coming at you and wear himself out because you made up your mind that Jesus is enough and that you're not going to fall down, that you're not going to relapse, that you're not going to give up, that you're not going to give in. The Bible says if we'll resist him, that he will flee far from us. He will flee far from us. That's what the word teaches. I ain't going to preach it up here. Say so amen. Stand is what the Bible teaches us to do. Got to put on the whole armor of God. I like that. I, I, I'm just teaching through some Bible verses here today. There will come a day I'll have paint the outline again, but not today. The Bible says, put on the whole armor of God. <laughs> Can I preach up in here just a minute? <laughs> some of us are trying to put on part of the armor and not all of it, thinking we're going to defeat the devil. <laughs> some of us think we can read our Bible once a year. And arm ourselves enough to defeat him. We think we can pray when we have a great need and ignore God when, when, it's, when it's convenient. We think that we can give God what's left over of our life and never follow him in every single day and every way that the Bible teaches us. A part-time Christian will never defeat a full-time devil. Woo, Reverend, that's good preaching if you are going. <laughs> 
myself. I've been preaching 14 years. It's not new to me. But God help us. Here we are. Uh, the Bible tells us to put on the whole armor of God. Because here's the thing. We've got to look at the word and every part of it. Take it in. And if it says it, do it. And if we're not going to do it, we're going to be defeated. Let me ask you a question. If you're living a defeated life, if you can't get victory over sin, are you obeying everything God said to obey? Or are you just picking and choosing the parts that you like best? The whole armor of God. Everything. I made up my mind a long time ago that if I wasn't going to obey this book, I'm just going to get one that matches my shoes. <laughs> if you're not going to obey it, it may as well match what you're doing. But I got me a red one. I don't have any red shoes. Say amen. I want to obey it. I want to follow it. Because if we put on the whole armor of God, when Satan comes, our boots can be planted in the ground and say, bring it on, devil. My, my, my hope is anchored in Jesus. My life is secure because of Calvary. Can we agree that the devil's already a defeated foe? Yeah. That on the cross, Jesus defamed him and destoned him. And when Jesus resurrected from the grave, he took away the sting of sin, death, and the law. And if I die today, the worst that happens to me is heaven. If I die, the worst that happens to us are streets of gold, a mansion with no 30 year mortgage. A new body that doesn't have aches and pains. Eyes that aren't going out in my 30s. Hair that's not going gray in my 30s. Amen. I won't need a car because I'll just be like, uh, what, what is it, Star Trek? They just beat me up, Scotty. I, just, I won't need a car because I'll just go wherever I want. The spirit won't be confined to this. The worst that happens to us is heaven. <coughs> if I die, Paul said for me to live as Christ and to die as gain. So while we're here doing this thing on earth, the whole armor of God, Satan is a defeated foe. We can live victoriously. But let's read a few more verses. I want to talk about this for a minute. This is important. Verse 12. How many of you have ever been hurt by somebody before? And I have. And we are tempted in our hurts <coughs> to hate people, aren't we? We're tempted to be angry with people. And I want to read this verse, and I want you all to pay attention to the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words. The Bible says this. I want you to read this out loud with me. Verse, verse 12, the first eight words. One, two, three, let's read. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Read it again. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Okay, let's, let's talk about this for a minute. Our enemies are not one another. <clears throat> you may have been hurt in the past by people. But Satan is the one ultimately deceiving people into doing the hurt. Jesus was on the cross. You know how Jesus dealt with this? Excuse me. Jesus was at in, in the upper or a no, no, he wasn't there. Say amen. Jesus, y'all, y'all remember me talking about your brain going out on you as you get older? So Jesus was was at the Last Supper, and it became he knew prophetically that Judas would betray him. He looked at Judas and said, what you going to do? Go do quickly. Judas went and betrayed him. Jesus was ultimately crucified. And on the cross, Jesus prayed a prayer. He said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. And Jesus recognized that the devil is behind manipulating people. And deceiving them into doing their hurt. That's why we're not allowed to hate people. You know, the Bible never said we're not allowed to hate the devil. We're allowed to war with him. We're allowed to do battle with him. Because he's the one that's responsible for hurt. People are like chess pieces on a board. 
that the devil uses to do things. God loves people. He hates sin, but he loves people. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We don't wrestle against one another. But who is our enemy? Sometimes I'll speak out loud just so the devil will hear me and I'll hear myself. And I'll say, Devil, if you're going to kill me, you got to swing harder than this. I'm going to keep serving Jesus till my dying breath. As long as there's breath in my lungs, it's not over yet. As long as there's breath in my body and blood in my veins, there's still hope, but there will come a day. Sometimes you just got to say that. Sometimes you got to win ugly. Sometimes it's not pretty. But you do your best. And you can't, oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, this, y'all, when I say this, y'all are going to think this is pleasant right here in God's gave it to me. Sometimes you got to do your best and leave. Uh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do your best and let God have all the rest. Amen.